Hello, hello. Hi, my coffee beans. How are you guys doing? And this is Easy with another kind of、um, speed paint, speed draw, draw with me type of thing. And it's Valentine's Day, so I thought, why not let's draw some Valentine's girls? Because that's all we do in this channel, just draw bunch of girls. <laughs> So for the people that's new here, hello, welcome, welcome for you know, I draw a bunch of girls, and for the people that's coming back, thank you for coming back and clicking that subscribe button. And we are the coffee gang, and if you are not a coffee gang, if you're more of like a tea type of person or hot chocolate, that's all good too. All right. We are doing Valentine's girls, and I don't have the clip for the sketch of this girls, these two girls here. But I know on the right one, the right the girl on the right, I went live on that when I sketch her out. So if you guys want to see that,、um, just scroll down a bit in my channel, and you'll see the live video of me sketching the girl on the right. But for the girl on the left, I totally don't have. The sketch for her, and I apologize for that. And you can, as you can see over here, I'm just dabbing away all of my problems. <laughs> no, I'm just dabbing this kneaded eraser to kind of like lighten up the sketch, so I can try to do a, a cleaner line art, so the sketch is not going to interfere with me doing the line art. Just watch me a bit for、um, just watch me dab my problems away, like I said. Try to line it. I'm gonna be using this micron. I think this is in color brown, not sepia, because I think sepia is a little darker than brown. So I'm almost guaranteed this is the brown micron. If not, please let me know, cause I couldn't find the color on the barrel. So this is micron zero point、uh, zero one, I believe. I, I don't know. It only says like zero one right there, as I as we can see from the video. I'm not very good at lining, so I really apologize for the people that's like cringing at my line art. But I I can't do clean line art. I like doing messy, sketchy line art type of thing because I I like my work to be very loose and I try my best to keep that that energy that you have when you like sketching, like the flowiness. And I tried to do clean line art before and. I struggle. It's like I just, I just die inside. <laughs> I die inside every time I try to do a clean line art. So, yeah, I apologize. <laughs> Doing today? It's Valentine's Day. What did you guys do? What are you guys doing?、Um, let me know. What are you guys doing, or what did you guys do? Because some people might be watching this on Valentine's Day, so let me know down below what's your plan for today, or for the people that watching this like after Valentine's Day. Let me know what you guys did. For me and Hubster. We are just going to have a 
you know a family quality family quality time we're just gonna go out to our favorite fast food place it's called freddy's and i love their french fries it's like the way they do the french fries is very thin it's like it's what do, what do they call them they call them shoestring french fries and it's really thin it's i like the the seasoning that they do on them and it's just so good it's just so good and their ice cream they have like this called um custard chocolate brownie ice cream and it's so creamy it's like it's like the best thing it's like heaven in a little cup so that's me and hamster are doing you know we're gonna treat the kids to some ice cream our two kids are gonna be with us so it's just a family bonding time for me and hamster for today valentine's day or you know yeah so what are you guys doing let me know down below what you guys did or, or what are you guys doing today and if you guys are not doing anything today that is fine too there's you know let's just chill basically that's all me and hopster wants to do just relax and not socialize with people or or how I do things and if you have any questions about any any of that please let me know in the comments down below and I will try my best to answer on it and if I have if I get enough questions about certain things maybe I'll make a video and answer all of you guys questions because I do get quite a bit of DM on Instagram about my process and I think it is time for me to make a Q&A video in the future. So if you guys have any questions, please let me know. You can comment down below or DM me on my Instagram or better yet, go to my Discord where I am mostly active all the time. Every time I'm awake, I'm always on it. People chatting with me, me posting things and so on and so forth. So. All of my social media will I will have the link down below for all of my social media and just a note like I said if you want to have a conversation with me or just you know just casually interact with me the best place to do that is in oh the best place to do that is in my discord server and I will leave all of the links in the description below for you guys to see and all that and and another thing is all of my materials that I'm using in this in this um, video right now all of the materials I will try my best to put all of the links down below so you guys can check it out or maybe you are interested in it and you just want to see what it is so I will just head down in the description bar below
part, I will be using my Paul Rubens watercolor palette. And this is not just Paul Rubens that's inside of this. Um, the middle row right here, as you can see, the middle row is consists of Windsor and Newton and probably a couple colors from Shinhan, the student line Shinhan watercolors. And I thought I will whip it out this set because I haven't used this in a long time it's been a year that this has been activated and for the brushes I will be using this Mid Medin watercolor brushes travel set from Amazon and I will be using the size 4 and the links for this one will be in the description down below if, you, if any of you are interested of checking this out for yourself start with a skin tone and then I just like what do you call loosely wash over around like around the skin area it doesn't even matter if I'm not coloring within the lines because that just kind of like helps everything to blend together softly and as you can see I'm just trying to blend it outside of the skin area uh, I'm blending it outside like around the hair the clothes it just gives you that softer softer blend and it kind of makes the whole piece uh, more cohesive because now the dress is gonna have that undertone the same undertone as the skin and it will just like tie everything together and while everything is wet I'm kind of like dropping in some colors like for the for the dress i'm dropping in color red and everything is still wet so they're kind of like you know doing their own thing which is which that's the kind of thing i like i kind of want everything to move on their own freely it's more like a loose kind of watercolor and you kind of just guide them where you want them to be you loosely guide them you don't try to control everything or at least that's how I like to work with watercolors. For any of you that use watercolors and like as your main medium to paint or just color anything, how do you guys use it? Because for me, I like to use watercolor very loosely. I like it. You know, I let the watercolors basically do its thing and just lightly guide them where they need to be. So I've seen some people use watercolors like as if it's um, markers. Like they can achieve that very smooth like washes and all that. And it's just amazing. So let me know how you guys like to use watercolors.
color yellow for the background I originally was gonna leave it blank but I thought the white of the background is way too white and too distracting and I kind of want this spread to be to look more full and the way to do that is to add a basic wash on the background so I pick yellow there's no rhyme or reason I just thought um, it's a color that you know that's not in this two girls so I was hoping that it would make them pop even more like off of the page so that's the only reason why I pick yellow here I'm just just showing you guys my white Posca pen um, and the jelly roll red pen Sakura jelly roll and uh, Faber Castell ones and I thought I was gonna use the Sakura pens the jelly roll pen but I end up not using it so yeah think I'm gonna end the vid uh, the voiceover over here and I will just let you guys watch the rest of the video and hope you guys are having a good day or just a chill day in general and I hope everything is good and if it's not please hang in there everything is going to be just fine the storm will pass away all right and like I said all of the links for my for my social media will be down below and everything else will be in the description box so yeah and i will see you guys later thank you guys for for hanging out and sticking until the very end of this video and i will see you guys later bye bye